Welcome to the vertical chart video. I want to introduce to you this chart and explain to you how to build it. To begin, open word processor. In order to be able to build your vertical chart, you need Microsoft Word or any other word processor that has table functions. Please know that each word processor may be a little different, but the principles are the same. If you do not have Word in your computer, you can install an optional software named OpenOffice. It is free of charge by downloading it from the openoffice.org website. Once Word is open, go ahead and open a new blank document. As you can see in my screen, you see the final vertical chart of the first segment of the Book of Titus. This is just to show you the goal of this tutorial. So I will go ahead and delete this table so I can show you how to do it from scratch. Assuming that you have done all your paragraph titles of Titus, go ahead and open that file. Once the paragraph title file is open, select all the paragraph titles that belong to the first segment and copy them. I will go ahead and copy from the beginning until chapter 2, verse 9 and 10. How does copying text work? That works by selecting them with the mouse and going to your menu, edit, then copy. Now go back to your Word document and paste them. How does pasting text work? Go to the menu Edit, then Paste. Let's make the paragraph title red, so it will be easy to work later. After that, please go ahead and type in the end of the paragraph's segment summary. This is where you will type your interpretative summary. Please change the color of this title to black. Once the paragraph title are in place, select them all including the segment summary line. Now that they are selected, go ahead and look for the icon or option tables. Click on it and you will see how the text automatically goes into a table. From now on we will work in modifying this table. In order to do that, you will use a lot the right click of your mouse. Step 1. Make sure the table is not selected. Go and place your mouse by the far right of the table or far left of the table. Once your mouse icon changes for an arrow pointing down, you add a new column to your table. Let's go ahead. Wait until the mouse becomes a different icon. Right click and insert a new column. We will do this process two times, first for our interpretations in the right side and second for our observations in the left side. Now you have new columns with many rows. I want you to select the rows in the left. Now you will learn how to merge cells, so click the right bottom of your mouse and click Merge Cells. Let's do the same with the right side. Please modify the left and right side of each column by dragging the frame to the sides. Now we will delete the frame edges of the left and right column. How does that work? Click inside of the cells we just created. Click the right bottom and select Borders and Shading. There is a pop-out window that will appear. We will work in the right side box. Make sure you select in the bottom the options Apply to Cell. By clicking in the line frames in the top box, we can delete the line frames we do not want. In this case, left column, we will go ahead and delete the frames in the left, leaving only one frame in the right. Once you are sure you want to delete those frame lines, click OK. Let's do the same process for the other cell. Mm -hmm. 
As you can see, all the column stroke frames are gone. Now it is time to give spacing to the paragraph title cell. How does that work? Click in each row multiple enters to make the cell bigger. What I mean by this is that each cell will have a number of enter spaces depending on the number of verses the paragraph title contains. Let's do it together. First paragraph title has fir four verses, so pl place four enters. Second paragraph title has four verses, so four enters. Third paragraph title has three verses, three enters. Fourth paragraph title has two verses, two enters. Fifth paragraph title has three verses, three enters. Sixth paragraph title has three verses, so three enters. Seventh paragraph title has two verses, two enters. As you can see, all your vertical table is done. Move the table frame down by clicking and dragging down the table from the top left corner. Now that the table is down, you can type on the top the segment number, in this case segment 1. Then the title of the segment, in this case Teach Sound Doctrine. And after this the segment reference that is Titus from chapter 1 1 to 2, 10. Do not forget your segment summary. This is where you will type your interpretative summary. Now you know how to prepare your vertical chart which becomes your worksheet to record all your discoveries. Know that the second vertical chart of Titus is made the same way. Titus has only two charts. Well done! Have a great time learning!